This guy's just doing it for fun. He's just crazy. Oh, oh, man, the ice looks melted. These fellas are so hot. Oh, he's really good. Yeah, I guess that guy's getting to it. Ready? Sturgis trip was coming to an end. We only had one full day left in front of us. By the time we got to day nine of the trip, we had all come to the conclusion that Deadwood was the place for us. And lucky for us, Prism Supply and Harley Davidson were throwing a pool party in Deadwood Square. The weather wasn't exactly the most favorable for a pool party, but that really didn't matter and it didn't stop us. Me and the boys were looking forward to checking out some choppers and going for a little bit of a dip. Waking up, and unfortunately, the last couple days have been raining out here in Sturgis. But we're going to the pool party, the tropical pool party, and uh, the Australia boys, Danny and Perry, are getting ready, all prepped up. They got their rain gear. They have custom rain gear, actually. So Danny's got the full shirt, and uh, inside the shoes, the bags, prepped and ready. Where did you learn how to do that? Um, it's just how we do it in Australia. This is rain gear in Australia. We just use garbage bags. I yeah. like it. Yeah. I like it. And uh, Barry's got the, the full top, torso, and he's got some boom boots. <laughs> <laughs> Headed out to the pool party today. We're all really excited. Perfect weather for it. It's raining. Dude, I just want to throw a little drinks in the umbrella. I'm going to go back in the garage. Brandon's dressed for the pool, for sure. Dude, I ain't scared of the rain. Rain ain't nothing but wet. I'm already in my rain gear. I think there's two schools of thought here. Dress for the rain like myself, although this is coming off once I get there. Or you just go full swimwear like Brando over there. We got people from around the world coming to see Danny today. You know that's bullshit, mate. <laughs> Pool party time, boys. Let's hit it. We still doing belly flop contest? No, nah, no. Nah. I know Perry is. We were hoping for a sunny day, but that's all right. The show must go on, right, Danny? Uh, yeah. I think we got a polar plunge going on later today. It's already freezing ass cold, but they're gonna add ice to the pool as well. 250 bucks for someone that stays in the ice water. Are you ready to go? Ready to run? 
Oh shit! It's not dry ice! It's match, huh? Can we at least break them up a little bit? So when are you going in, Mr. Richards? Not a chance. <laughs> He's 250 bucks on the line though, man. <laughs> Someone else. <laughs> Company pays me well. <laughs> I'll see in there, man. Yes, yeah. You going in, right? Yep, yep, right after you. <laughs> yeah, right here. Yep. Promise? <laughs> <laughs> you ready to get in there? Oh, dude, I was born for this. You're the Polar Bear Club? Brother, I own the Polar Bear Club. Again, kind of not quite there yet. You got, you got a harness or inner Joe Rogan? I mean, I got, I got to help here. I'm probably jumping in. Hopefully, uh, Andrew and Brandon come back. I think they took off. Uh, yeah, I don't know where those guys are. Maybe they're warming up for the polar plunge. Who knows? That's a lot of money in ice. There you go. We're not even done yet. Yes. We got propane heaters on standby, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, great. There's a little warming hut over there. Yeah, warm hut, alright, cool. Oh, oh yeah, that's nice. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That is not warm. Yes. You jumping in? I kind of have to. Yeah, these guys. Danny's uh, kissing babies and all that good stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Oh, <laughs> Okay, you're gonna show them how it's done right out of the gate, huh? Oh, uh, you must know one of those tropical pool towels. We're all getting in. I'm not gonna skip you. Why not? Davidson. Come on, yeah! We rode in earlier. We need a cold plunge on the plunge on the way here in the river. It was much more scenic than this. Oh yeah, here we go. Yes! Oh, that was pretty good. It's not even a cold, does it? Oh, he's really on here. Yeah, I guess that guy's gonna do it, Check out these fan ends up here. They're pretty fucking sweet. We had a good ride on the way in. We've been here for a while. Doing the polar plunge. Let's go. Brandon got 250? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
getting sponsored, bro? Yeah, I got sponsored by Monster. <laughs> On a hot water. day, the only thing that cools me down <laughs> is Monster Man's Warp Tour Tour Water. <laughs> What do you guys think? Getting some merch here. Eagle Pepper sweatshirt. This is probably our number one selling sweatshirt. Are you wearing this or would you like me to bag it? You know, bag it for now, I'm gonna wear it later. Sounds good. And I'm gonna get these socks too. Yeah. Here, warm, nice room. Oh, I was there. Yeah, like the 20-something. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, just go. Just, yeah, just yeah. keep his right behind there. Go ahead. Danny, I was waiting for you to get in the pool, dude. What happened? Yeah, I was going to do it. I was ready to go, but I um, I just looked at you guys, and you guys looked like you're in a hot water pain. I thought, no thanks. You had a lot of fans. I think you know the fans who were keeping you busy, oh, so you couldn't break away, right? I was inundated. I was just swamped. Yeah. That's just tough. The pool party was a success. We came, we conquered, we plunged. Brandon and I decided we weren't ready to give up the motorcycles this trip quite yet, so we took the long ride home. We decided to give the historic section of Deadwood one last ride. The rain hadn't let up at all, it was still coming down real heavy, and the plan was to get back home, put the bikes away, and grab a taxi to go to Jacob's that night. How's it going? I'm Danny Hayes. I'm here with Perry. I got, I got my man bag. You got his man bag. I'm here with the most handsome man in America. It's okay. It's Danny Shell. Danny, Danny Shell, follow. <laughs> this is my daddy butt cheese. What's up? What's up, dude? We're headed to Jacob's brew house right now, and we didn't feel like fired up the bikes again in the rain. We're kind of over the rain. So we got this cab here. And uh, a little sketchy. We've toughed the rain most of this trip, but for the last dinner, you know, nice to be dry. Yeah. And hopefully we get a table and it's not all booked up because restaurants around Deadwood are usually full by the time we get there. So. Is that too late live and thrashes a fly? What's up, bro? What's up, bro? What's up, bro? What's up, bro? How are you, man? What's up, bro? What's up, David? What's up, bro? How are you, dude? Lance, Lance, what's up, dude? What's up, man? How are you doing, bro? How are you, man? Good, how are you? What's up, Juan? What's up, bro? What's up, man? He's on the bar, dude. Hey, man. Good to see you, man. Good to see you, man. Good to see you, man. Good. Good to see you, man. Good. 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 You guys better leave because I'm driving. Yeah, I'm going to the park. How's 
just uh, guess who just jumped in the house? Let's go to the bar. You know, he's, yeah. a, he's a little turned. How was the journey, Chief? Incredible. You know, at Sturgis, this is my first time. I'm a virgin here at Sturgis, and it was awesome. So. And I saw you guys in the pool. We hit the pool today. We hit it hard. It was cold. We did the the polar bear plunge today, and we conquered. But you know what? And I didn't see him in the pool. No. He pushed out. So yeah. this guy, I'm on everyone your side. knows him. So give us an introduction to us, because you spend a lot. Guys, of time with him. this is the famous Danny Hayes million dollar bogan. This guy does some hardcore riding. Right all the way down to Bolivia from LA on a road king, all the way down that road to Bolivia death road. He's a man. He's a man. He's a man. He's a man. And I carry a Gucci man bag. Yeah, baby. He's high class. He's, he's high not, he's a, he's not a purse. It's a satchel. Yeah. I thought I heard you were going to ride that road king into the pool today. I, they won't let me. They won't let you. I did ask. We hit up the boar's nest though because of you guys. There One thing I'm surprised yeah. about, Matt does some great trips, but he's never been here, and I'm glad he's here because we've asked him before. Why haven't you been here? Well, he's here. That's good. That means hold this, please. Hold this, please. Okay. You're gonna drink it because I spent a lot of money on it. And just handing out shots. So Lance and Galen, the two lane life guys, got the privilege of riding the new CBOs, and I was wondering what their initial thoughts were. My thoughts are I've had a Road King, I've had street glides, road glides, out of the box, by far, this is the best bike that I've ever ridden. Nice. I'm, I'm stoked. I want one bad. Yeah. I want to have one and make it my own. I just a lot of the stuff that I love about it is the fact that you can be in six gear going 100, twist the throttle and it goes. And now you can have. So you, a you wrote the street glide today, right? Uh, yesterday, yeah. Yesterday. Yeah, I've ridden the road glide only about 10 miles. It doesn't yeah. really count, but. Well, after putting miles down on it, like we're with a guy that had a built bike. And we don't normally like race. Uh, we always race. <laughs> but we we did the four three two one and four four three two one and five and four three two one and six. And this bike is pulling the whole way. Really? The only thing that stopped it was the rev limiter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I had the short shift, and then it caps out at one twelve. Okay. Otherwise, one, I'm gone. One twelve, huh? Yeah. Okay. Like one thirteen. You ain't gone on me. Oh, I can't. Nah, no, they keep up with me. <laughs> a little bit. Let me guess, Lance, your bike doesn't have a governor on it. No. <laughs> I was riding 120 quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine. But, uh, well, that's good feedback. That's good to know that people are liking the new CBOs. And we still have uh, about 1,800, probably another 2,000 miles we're going to hit on it for this trip. So a few little things to make it your own, yeah. and I'm in. Coming to a close here in Sturgis 2023. We wanted to set it off with a bang. There's the climax. <laughs> we got a little bit of a uh, fireworks show by Perry. That's <laughs> 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 a whole box. Looking back on this trip, I can easily say it was the best motorcycle trip of my life. Yeah, it's a little bit unfair to compare this with the rest of my trips. We had 10 solid days of riding and enjoying a place that a lot of us had never been before in the group. We got to experience the biggest, most popular motorcycle rally in the world. And although we hit a little bit of weather near the end there, for the most part we had fantastic weather. And after years of talking about going to Sturgis, being able to finally go, with all the hopes and the hype and everything, I can definitely say that Sturgis does live up to the hype. Would I go back? Absolutely. I hope to get back to Sturgis sooner than later. After all, there still are a couple places that I've missed that I'd like to hit next time. One, we missed out on the bad lands i definitely want to go there and then i also want to check out the crazy horse we had intentions of going by the crazy horse but just never really got to we just ran out of time on the day we were going to go check it out but a lot of the rides we went on and the places that we saw i would do a hundred more times 
Of all the things that we did, I'd have to say that the Iron Mountain Road and probably Needles Highway were two of my top favorites. My third was probably Spearfish Canyon. Like I've said before, the thing that's most important to me is enjoying the ride, experiencing riding Harley-Davidson's on these amazing roads that have such an amazing history that's ingrained in the Harley-Davidson culture so much. And so being able to do that was definitely fulfilling a dream of mine. But above and beyond the rides and the machines we did it on, I gotta say the people that I shared it with, I wouldn't have it any other way. The fact that I got to ride with a couple of the boys from Laidlaw's HD, Andrew and Brandon, was awesome. There were a bunch of guys Guys from Laidlaw's Harley Davidson that I wish could have been there that weren't able to make it for whatever reason. But the fact that I got to ride with my cousins as well, Chris and Daniel, is something that was super rewarding just because we've been talking about doing this now for years. As a group, we've been talking about doing Sturgis for a very long time now. And then being able to coordinate everything with Stefan, Danny, and Perry and having Matt along was just the icing on the cake. I think every Harley rider will always remember their first time at Sturgis. I think it's going to be hard for any one of us on this trip to top this week at Sturgis. I'm pretty sure that Sturgis and the Black Hills will have me coming back for more for decades to come. Maybe it's the history of the Sturgis Rally. Maybe it's the camaraderie and brotherhood of motorcyclists from all over the world. Maybe it's the beautiful national forests and national monuments that surround the area. Maybe it's the specially crafted roads that I feel like were designed for motorcycles in mind. Whatever it is, there's only one thing I know for sure. It's best experienced on two wheels. Thanks a lot for watching guys. The Sturgis Chronicles is a six part video series. So if you missed one of the videos, you might wanna go back and check it out. This series was filmed over the course of 10 days through the states of California, Utah, Colorado, Wyoming, and South Dakota. Several different people helped me out with the filming of this video, but it was primarily me, Andrew, and Daniel who filmed the majority of the footage. It was filmed with about 10 different cameras and three different drones. I have hundreds of hours of footage into this series and about 120 hours of editing time. If you enjoyed the series, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to the YouTube channel. We'll see you on the next trip, guys. Later.